there are major changes, 14.2 and then 14.3. And uh, I, think, I think by 14.3 is when we'll really be at the point where you can just pretty much fall asleep and wake up at your destination. The Tesla Robo Taxi Cyber Cab in 2026 with version 14.3 will be the milestone at which drivers can fall asleep because the EV operates fully autonomously. This is something Elon Musk himself has stated before with FSD version 14.2.2.22 currently being deployed. Tesla has also announced that in all six countries where it is available, the total number of miles driven by users with supervised FSD has reached 7 billion miles, an impressive figure that is difficult for anyone to replicate. Recent viral videos showing some Tesla Robo taxi cyber cab vehicles driving side by side with and even overtaking Wimo's autonomous cars on public streets have unintentionally created a striking contrast in the directions taken by the autonomous transportation industry. These images clearly highlight the difference in development philosophies between the two companies. Tesla's cyber cab stands out with its clean design language eliminating the bulky sensor arrays commonly seen on Wimo vehicles. This minimalism not only delivers a more appealing appearance, but also allows the cyber cab to blend more easily into modern traffic as it feels familiar to users through its visual similarity to Tesla's newer generation models. Currently, Many rendered images of the Tesla Cyber Cab show expectations of different color options, such as matte black, bright red, or white. However, it is widely believed that Tesla will most likely sell the vehicle only in its original base color, while users who want different colors can apply wraps themselves. What matters most is that production is set to begin in late April and is expected to bring a major shift in pricing along with an unprecedented surge in vehicle volume. So, how exactly will the Tesla cyber cab change pricing? Why does Elon Musk always keep this information secret? Welcome to Tesla Car World. We all surely remember the incident last week in San Francisco when a large number of Wimo autonomous vehicles stopped operating due to a power outage. Many Wimo cars became stuck at intersections because traffic lights were out as the system is programmed to treat such situations as four-way stops and in some cases must wait for remote human confirmation before proceeding. This led to severe congestion, forcing Wimo to temporarily suspend service and retrieve the vehicles in batches. Following the incident, Wimo acknowledged that it has handled more than 7,000 intersections without traffic signals, but the volume of confirmation requests was so large that it caused system overload. The company stated that it is updating software across its entire fleet to better detect regional power outages, improve emergency response planning, and enhance training for emergency responders. The incident has reignited debate over remote supervision and the role of humans as Wimo promotes itself as fully autonomous, yet still requires human confirmation in unusual situations. Elon Musk, meanwhile, has asserted that Tesla Robo Taxi Cyber Cab vehicles can continue operating effectively during power outages. However, for now, they remain under close supervision as they are still in the testing and optimization phase ahead of their planned launch in the first quarter 2026. Tesla relies on vehicles it designs and manufactures itself, such as the Model Y and Cyber Cab, as the foundation for its autonomous driving efforts. In contrast, Wimo builds its fleet using a variety of vehicle models supplied by different automakers. The two companies also take fundamentally different approaches to self-driving technology. Wimo equips its vehicles with an exceptionally complex sensor suite, including 29 cameras, 5 LAR units, and 6 radar sensors positioned around the vehicle along with a dedicated high-performance computing system mounted at the rear. This approach prioritizes safety and highly accurate environmental perception, particularly in dense and complex traffic conditions. Thanks to LAR technology, Wimo vehicles can precisely measure distances and generate highly detailed 3D maps of their surroundings. However, this hardware-heavy strategy comes at a significant cost, 
with each vehicle estimated to cost around $180,000. These vehicles are not sold to individual consumers, but are used exclusively as part of Wimo's robo taxi service. By contrast, Tesla is pursuing a hardware minimalist strategy, using only nine cameras and completely eliminating LAR and radar, instead relying primarily on computer vision and artificial intelligence. This dramatically lowers vehicle costs down to approximately $44,990 and allows the cars to be sold directly to consumers. Tesla is betting that powerful software and advanced AI can compensate for the absence of expensive sensors, enabling much faster scalability. Elon Musk has repeatedly argued that LiDAR is inefficient and outdated for autonomous driving, and he has even stated on X that Wimo never really had a chance against Tesla. This will become obvious in hindsight. In reality, Tesla is continuing to push its full self-driving and robo-taxi strategy, which is a central focus leading into 2026. All current progress built on the more than 7 billion miles accumulated so far is directed toward the robo-taxi network, which consists of two parts. The existing Model Y fleet and the future purpose-built cyber cab featuring no steering wheel and no pedals. Elon Musk himself has even shared a personal experience of riding in the passenger seat of a Tesla with no safety driver, which drove flawlessly around Austin. Tesla's head of AI also confirmed that the experience was amazing. At the same time, test Model Y vehicles equipped with additional hardware have appeared in New York, indicating that Tesla is preparing to scale up. In China, Tesla released a robo-taxi video with the message, many surprises in 2026, and updated its official website to emphasize accessibility for all users, including people with disabilities, support for service animals, and assisted devices. Tesla has also announced cleaning fees for the robo-taxi network. $50 for moderate messes and $150 for severe cases, such as vomiting or smoking. The ultimate goal of the cyber cab is to significantly reduce transportation costs. Currently, multiple prototypes have been spotted testing on the streets of Austin with steering wheels still installed. These vehicles are labeled as engineering prototypes, indicating an early validation phase. Real-world images show that the cyber cab is compact, distinctive, and gradually becoming familiar through Tesla's new design language, which has already appeared on the refreshed Model Y with front and rear light bars. At its core, the cyber cab is designed from the ground up as an autonomous vehicle, not a traditional car retrofitted with self-driving software. This distinction matters.